Good afternoon, explorers. Good afternoon. We're in St. Petersburg, Florida today at the Whedon Island Preserve. This place is over 3,190 natural acres on the Tampa Bay. So there's so much to do here. They have a cultural and history center. They have tons of hiking trails. There's a boardwalk, an observational tower. Excited we, about that. Yeah, we did see where you can rent kayaks and canoes to go through the mangroves, which that looks really interesting too. Mm. Um, just lots of stuff. The reason why they have a culture and history center is because this place, they find tons of artifacts that date back like thousands of years and it all is linked to the Native Americans of this area so they can track the history of the tribes that were in this area. All right, let's go inside and we'll check it out. Let's go. this island is named Whedon Island is because in the late 1800s this island was given to Dr. Whedon. He studied yellow fever. Um, this was given to him and his wife as a wedding present. He really tried to keep this island to where it was never touched but eventually it did get sold. Part of it went to do the energy for St. Pete and the other part was turned into a state park. Then the county of Pinellas bought this place and they turned it into a preserve. Once you're done with it, you can break it again. So they do a lot of digging on this property. The colleges come down here with their archaeology students and they just dig. At one point they found this canoe here and they did all the testing on it and it's supposed to be dated back 1100 years. Looks like they have many programs that will be coming soon. The QR code is actually right there. Uh, you might be able to scan it. We learned from the ranger inside that there are actually over five miles of trails here, some of which are paved and others that are dirt. Bay Boardwalk East Entrance. Let's go check this out. Bay Boardwalk. It is beautiful out here guys. Check this out. Um, we are told that in certain times when the tide is in or out you'll see thousands of birds just sitting out here. Um, the man I spoke to said there was a bunch of irises here. So follow Thomas. Another place to go birding. <laughs> This is more of the Bay Boardwalk. As you can see, they have this nice little area and you get to look at this beautiful lake. We made it to the end of Lookout Point Trail. Kind of dead ends here. Now there is a skinnier path that goes that way, but it's not on the map, so we're gonna just turn around. But it, it brings you right to the edge of the bay, which is just a beautiful shot. So take a few seconds and admire it. Boy, it warmed up quite a bit. When I say five miles, be prepared to walk the five miles because just to get to any of these spots that are lookout points, you're gonna be going along those trails. So we've already shed off a layer of clothes. Boy Scout Trail actually is covered with a couple of different bridges. 
we're not sure how far we're going to get because it rained not too long ago and there's a couple of muddy spots there so be prepared yeah. for that since it's all dirt Wow, that was a walk. Now we're gonna go head over to the tower observational area. Come on. All right, let's go climb up to the top of this tower. This is what they say is the tale of three cities. You can see Clearwater, Tampa, and St. Pete from here. And way out in the distance is the Tico Energy Plant where we saw the manatees. Yeah, that's an awesome place. Check out that video. Climb up to the top of the observational tower because you get these amazing views. 360. Yes, yeah, so if you do one thing while you're at this place, yes. climb the tower. It's beautiful. They have a company on property called Ecomersion, and you can get guided kayak tours. They have kayaks, paddle boards, and canoes you can rent. The hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., although it is not 5 p.m. yet, and it does look like it's closed. So check ahead in case there's any reason for closures. One thing to know, the cultural center is closed on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which kind of leads me to believe that there's not a lot of bathrooms when that's closed. Okay, explorers, I think this is where we're gonna leave you. We definitely got our steps in today. Yes, this is a good place to come exercise and jog if you want to. Yeah, and if you have little ones, that science center is great for them to learn a little bit about Florida history and about, the, about nature, mm -hmm. so. We will be back one day to canoe, probably when it's warmer out. Yeah, those mangroves look amazing. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. And we'll see you on the next one. So if you have little ones, this is a great place to take them because there's... Going along 